Got the nose back on. I'm starting to fit the hood on now. So <clears throat> if you can see how this kind of comes together really nice, just a little low here, but I mean, it, it's pretty good through here. But it's, since it's stuck out, like I showed in the last video, it's stuck out here, I decided to clamp it. And now this is really good. And this is pretty good. This might have to be hammered down a little more. I hammered it a little bit, uh, might have to be a little bit more. But I put the, if you can kind of see there, I put a, a seal in there, the gasket, kind of hold it where it's supposed to be. Got the latch on. And this feels really good. Uh, so <clears throat> now I'm going to put a support in here from here up to here. And uh, hopefully that'll hold that in. That's my, my plan. Either that or it could be a complete failure, I don't know. Um, here's the part. I just took some uh, 5 16th round stock and I bent it. So it's going to actually follow the contour inside there. Okay. And then I'll tack it in there. And hopefully this will be strong enough to hold this down. That's my whole thought process here because this is definitely bent out compared to this one. This one is in more and it has a, a better overlap here than this one. So that's what I'm working on getting done right now. Getting it so it stays there. And this will also help get this hood a little more rigid rather than this floppy, just sheet metal, you know? So here we go. Let's give it a whirl and see if it works. Here's what I got going on. As, as you know, the hood was kind of out like this on the other side. This one is not latch, but. So I put this support in, you see this 5 16ths I had bent up. I tacked it in here. And I tacked it in there and then I came around and here's how I here's where it is it's about perfect that'll work that'll work really good if I need to build just a hair I can with a little fill and it will be perfect but this is latched down now only thing now is that the gap is a little wide because I don't have this uh, completely tipped back or the hood pulled forward which that's no big deal. I just want to make sure that this contour is right. And this is how it ended up. Not bad, not bad at all. Um, I will tack it in a couple more places. I will probably also then put a re reinforcement back in here someplace and maybe even a strap here, like I'm going to do the other side because this side comes out just a hair. So, all right, moving on. Here's what I got so far in the hood. Um, I put that support in. I'm probably gonna put more supports in, uh, but the thing of it is I had to get the hood to, you know, fit right here, fit right in the back. The, the support in here helped me fit that. Uh, well, back here, uh, I think I noticed, you know, I showed that my finger would go right through there. Now it's like flush right here. It might be just a little high here, but I can, I can do a little work on this to make that match if I want to make it match a little better. But what I did is I had to take this area here and I heated it up and then I bent the curve, bent that curve back the way it is. And that's how that got in there. Now, now it fits along here, just like the other side. Um, so it's, it's all workable now. So that's how you, I guess, get this hood where I need it to be. Uh, there's still some work I got to do um, with the, the latches and stuff like that. This is, they're interfering a little bit with the inside. The spring is, it's dragging a little bit now that I curve this better. Um, and then this side, this side is pretty good. Um, I do have the gasket in there. Like this is just a hair off. I could probably just build the nose just a hair to, to equal that. This is good. Uh, and then back here, this is the only other spot I really have to worry about. Other than the, the gap is a little wide here, it's wide here. I can add material here to, to 
compensate this gap to equal the other gap. And again, this part here. We're gonna have to, I'm gonna have to address that um, somehow. So maybe some more heat, I don't know. That's what I did last time, uh, but it just didn't shrink right. So now that I have it on the vehicle, now I think I can, I can make, it, make it happen uh, by bulging this out and shrinking it in. Uh, going that way. So there's the hood. I think, yeah, that's it. A little bit of change of plans on the hood. Um, I really didn't like the way my thing here was, my support, although I think it would have worked. Um, it's not liking the look so i'm changing it to more of a flat stock uh, like this uh, you can see where i'm going to be putting this in i'll be putting this in here like that um, and then is what i'll do is i'll do another support on the hood up here across here and then i'll connect them with a couple couple of bands maybe two, maybe three, depends on how stiff it gets. But this alone should start stiffening it up quite a bit. So um, I thought this flatter stock would look better. Um, so that's why I'm doing it. I don't, although the round one, could you could have made it look nice like a rib, but ah, I think this is gonna be better. So I went ahead and put some strapping in. You can see this here, put one here, I put one up on here, I'll show you right here. That one there. And then I put that one in. Of course, it'll all be ground out. And and now, after having this hood, if I can kind of do this, it's hardly wiggling now. So I'm gonna put one more strap in back here, and that should be it. Only problem, only thing that I did wrong, I think, was when I curved this one up here, I curved it a little tight and so I had to push it, push it up to weld it. That might have drew this in just a hair too much. Um, so if I push it down, it's, it's okay. But I did get this to come in really nice. It's a little high here. You just kind of barely see it's a little high there. Which I can work with the nose on that. Um, but I think, I think it's what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that strap that I put in there, I'm gonna heat it up just a little bit and pull it out just a hair. Just to pull this out, this is like almost right on the money. But I think I'm gonna pull that out just a tick and that'll help, that'll help this just a little bit too and it'll help it shut a little bit better because right now it's like really tight on the gasket. Um, so that's where I'm at. I think, uh, I think that's a good idea to do on these hoods, that's for sure. And I'll probably do something on this bottom one, but not as much, not as extensive. Um, I might just do a strap here to make sure that the contour stays good here. Um, I mean, I don't think I'm going to do anything there. But anyway, that's it. I'm going to keep going. I got the hood braced as far as much as I'm going to. I think it's a lot better than it was. You can start seeing all my spot welds where all the braces, the, the braces are. I got brace here, all the way along here. I got a brace all the way along here. And then I got a brace that comes down here. And I got a brace that comes down here, and I'll show you that. I can get it, if you can get an idea here. So now I'm lifting it up, and if I wiggle this, you can kind of see it wiggle just a little bit, maybe. That's all it's doing. That's all the wiggle that's there. So there is some flexibility, but not much. But the other thing that I notice is when you open this hood, and you go to set it down, you can no longer flex it to come over here. 
it sits on the body now. Uh, which is not going to be any big deal with me because I'm going to have a hanger right here that's going to hold the hood. Uh, I don't like it sitting down on anything anyway. So that'll be that. But I'll give you an idea. I mean, I don't know if I get far enough back. Kind of, and I'm wiggling it. And that's all it's got. So now if I... If I... The other thing I did is I... This curve I had, I explained that was a little too sharp here. This went in farther and I had a higher bump here. So what I did is I, I slit that, slit that brace and I stretched it out just a little bit. Now this is just a hair out, but this, this is a lot better here. I mean, you can kind of, you know, see it. That's how much it's sticking out. So um, I'm going to just skim this. To bring it up to that when I do the body work over this whole thing because there'll be this so anyway this is the other side um, and I have not braced it yet to give you an idea I mean I mean that thing just wiggles all over the place so I am real happy with the support that is in there now I haven't seen too many videos on doing a support on a four piece hood because a lot of the street rod guys make it open different ways. I wanted to keep it this way. So this is what I came up with. Uh, some people have done this before, but you don't see many videos on it. The only thing now I got to do is I got to make sure I trim this all out. So it's, it's fitting correctly front back and all that kind of stuff. But the curvature is all right. The framing is right. I got to do the other side and I'm not going to do that on this video, but that gives you an idea of what I'm going to, what I've done. Next video, I'll show that I've, I've did the fill work and I have the body work all done on the hood. So anyway, that's the bracing. Oh, and let me show you, <laughs> sorry. I'll show you what it looks like. <clears throat> Here it is. There it is right there. And so what I'll do is I'm going to um, grind those welds. I'll either seam seal or fiberglass. I'm not sure yet which, but that is my support. You can see there's like two inch there and you know, a two inch and a two inch. And that one there is probably about an inch and a half strap. That's all I did. So. Um, I kind of did it wide so it would, would hold its rigidity a little bit. So anyway, there it is. Next time you'll see it, the hood will probably be all body worked and primed.